दिस इज थर्टी मोर देन थ्री डेकेट्स ओल्ड कंपनी इन टू दी एन डी सेक्शन एंड प्रजेंटली वी आर डूइंग बिजनेस इन ग्रेड कनेक्टिविटी राइट फ्राम सिक्सटी सिक्स के वी टू सेवन सिक्सटी फाइव के वी देन वी आर इन टू द सोलर बिजनेस वी आर डूइंग रूफ टॉप सोलर अप टू टेन मेगा वॉट एंड अबाव एंड देन वी आर डूइंग ग्राउंड सोलर ऑफ द मेगा वाट कपैसिटी लाइक थ्री हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड मेगा वाट कपैसिटी राइट फ्राम ए टू जेड सोल्यूशन ऑल्सो सो बेसिकली वी आर ए ग्रोइंग ई पी सी कंपनी विच हैज इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी फाइव वी आर शेल बी क्लोजिंग अराउंड ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड क्रोड्स एंड वी एस्पायर टू टच अबाउट टेन थाउजेंड क्रोड्स बाई टू थाउजेंड थर्टी दैट इज द मेन प्लान एंड वी वॉन्ट टू बी इन टू दैक्ट इन टू दिस सेक्टर वेयर यू स्पोर्ट इंडिया स्टोरी ऑफ ग्रोथ ऑफ पार and uh, and we think that the connectivity and grids are the most uh, crucial part of this story without grids without transmission system tnd system you can't grow and since renewable is the uh, business and the government is focusing on that uh, we are doing equally good in that and uh, taking that uh, on a parallel path and doing mega projects in solar and uh, third is rooftop rooftop also we are doing 10 megawatt and above actually tnd losses is the one area which is the most painful area as on today uh, to arrest the tnd losses the first and foremost thing which you can do with the present system is that you control the harmonics in the system that means the reactive power in the system can be controlled if we control the reactive power which is a wasteful power all of, uh, sort of and if we can control that reactive power that much of losses uh, will be eradicated from the system that is one way second is optimal loading of the transmission lines which is again uh, getting painful because uh, with the coming of renewables more and more lines are being spread and those lines are very very lightly uh, loaded because Uh, they remain unloaded during the night time during the day time also they are very very lightly loaded and that add some strain on the system so uh, having uh, said that you need to have some bundled power uh, which should be traveling on those very lines so that those uh, optimized utilization of those lines can be there and that will uh, certainly reduce the uh, tr- transmission and tnd losses at the end of the day uh, th- th- that is all what you can do otherwise uh, since transmission losses are directly proportional to the resistance in the system uh, that will stay there so only optimal utilization of lines and uh, reactive power can reduce their loss one thing is standardization is must uh, this solar system uh, entire power system uh, of solar is a repetitive model that you are having same 220 kv substation you are ha- having same 400 kv substation you are ha- having same 765 kv substation but every substation is coming up with a different design because the developers are different and developers are not persons who have technical background they are dependent upon some advices and those advices are giving their plans their inputs and their uh, designs as per their working so that is adding to number of designs into the system like if i am giving doing 16 projects of 220 kv substation all 220 16 projects are on different design so i am also adding to manpower and resources and uh, the trouble of arranging that 16 types of material had it would have been a standardized protocol all these 16 substations could have been on the same format and why i can say so because i see that this is possible this is already proven because power grid is making grids all over india with the same design they have five designs for the five wind zones and depending upon the power uh, that ratings are decided so the same thing can be repeated in the Uh, uh, this developer sector also uh, now what is happening is 
a evacuation substation is a power grid. Their standard design of power grid is being used. But the developer is not accepting that design one kilometer away from that station because his advisor is saying, no, I need a, a stat calculation, I need this, I need this. And when you do all this repetitively and uh, s some of the parameters gets changed. So that is why uh, this standardization is very, very important, which will certainly cut down the costs of the uh, uh, power system and will also cut the timelines of the system because then standardized products will be available off the shelf. People will not wait for your order to manufacture. They will manufacture as per the standard practice. Like if you have, want to buy a fridge, you don't need to order it. And you go to the market and buy it. And the similar manner, if all things are standardized, you go to the market and buy those. And uh, the manufacturers will be able to streamline their production lines also. That will certainly uh, bring down the prices. One. Second is the ROW issues. You must have heard. Any project, first, the problem is of the developer for land aggregation. Okay, he has done land aggregation. When we go to the site as EPC, then the different sort of ROW starts coming. He said, tractor mein dunga, labor hamari lagegi, this and that. So this all can be, since this is a big call, you are talking of 400 gigawatts of power, 300 gigawatts of additional power. So you need to arrest this. And to arrest this, it is very simple that MNRE can take the onus or anybody government agency can take the owners and if they come up with the standardized format of the agreement of which the land agreement will be formed in which all these conditions can be sorted. I, I am not saying that don't care for the locals. Yes, the development of that area will be important. So you can have a standard format where you can say that this much percentage of labor will be deployed from the local that area. This much of machinery has to be deployed from that area. If particular resources are available in that area, those are to be used. Those all conditions can be there and these are not new, which I am asking. These are already prevalent in industry. Like in Himachal Pradesh, if you are having an industry, you ought to um, employ certain manpower of Himachal only. So that sort of format can be brought here, uh, which will control the ROW issues to a longer extent. And third is technology. Technology is changing on daily basis and there are four technology partners in India, you can say. Uh, the big MNCs are the technology partners. Now, government should come up with a protocol that any change in technology should compulsorily should pass through some power grid or some other utility so that that is compatible with the existing system. Now, what is happening? A particular MNC is coming with a new product. Yes, you know, uh, uh, they had spent hugely on R&D. They will like to sell it. And when they sell it, sometimes that is, if that is not compatible with the existing system, a huge cost is incurred to make it compatible with the system. Why it pains me? Because it comes as a direct cost to APC company. That, that comes as an additional cost to it. If those technologies are duly tested to power grid or so, that they are compatible with the existing system, I think people will be uh, not caught in this web and will be saved of this cost. And ultimately, why these are important? Anybody can say that let it be a free market. We, uh, we all advocate that the market should be free. It should, uh, it should follow demand and supply. All those things are very prevalent. Na? You can't do that in power sector. Power power is essential product and it has to be the cost incurred in the power sector reflects in the cost of uh, power and cost of the power has to be borne by the poorest of poor also. So you can't leave it to the market forces only, government has to think about it and some role has to come uh, where if not fully some control is there so that some costs, some unexpected price rises are not there so that that risk factor will reduce. The moment the risk factor will reduce, the cost will reduce. Everybody loads the risk, you know. So if there, you can reduce the risks in the power sector, the cost will certainly come down.
and that should be the motive because the lesser the power will cost the more you will grow more your products will be competitive in the market in the international market and that is why this is very very important so these are the things uh, where the, some the, these are the normal things which government is working on these probably this has not uh, been projected in that manner or th th those has not been caught by them in that perspective that uh, these things has not come otherwise these things can uh, easily come because that framework is there ce is there ema is there for pri uh, uh, price regulation ce is there for standardization of product a complete division is there in ca for standardization of products all these things can be easily done this will certainly help Thank you.